Hello and welcome to another Richard Head Longbows video. We've managed to get hold of what we believe may well be a medieval arrow. It was given to us by a reenactor who had got it from an elderly gentleman whose son had been renovating a very old barn. The condition of the arrow leads us to believe it was possibly in the thatch which has preserved it for all these years. The arrow head which Hector Cole has looked at is a, a type 16 head he believes from the 1400s and the shaft itself is a tapered shaft with quite a bit of the feather fletching still intact and the binding complete. If we're correct and it is medieval this arrow is probably unique. We've still got to have it authenticated uh, so there's work to be done uh, but we're very excited about it. The wooden shaft is in very good condition. It tapers from the arrowhead end and it's 12 millimeters at that end tapering back to about nine millimeters at the knock end. The arrowhead itself a type 16 head is 65 millimeter from the socket to the tip of the point. The fletches are approximately 160 millimeters long. Uh, they're from the left wing of the bird if that's of any interest and they're bound on with what is probably a fine linen thread. Uh, the number of turns are between seven and eight turns per inch. Uh, the knock itself is 11 millimeters deep and approximately three millimeters wide. It doesn't appear to have any horn insert, but it does have what is probably a piece of leather in the bottom of the knock slot turned down the edges of the shaft and held in place by the binding. That may be a reinforcement, it may be something to stop the uh, knock actually cutting the string, not too sure about that. The overall length of the arrow is 835 millimetres, which is approximately 33 inches. The weight of the arrow is 58.6 grams which is 904 grains, or just a fraction over two ounces. We hope to take the arrow to the next Craft Guild of Traditional Bowyers and Fletchers meeting so that members can have a look and uh, develop their own opinion as to what they think the arrow is and its, its age. Eventually it will go to the Royal Armouries in Leeds for them to authenticate and eventually to preserve in the correct uh, conditions and hopefully have on display so that members of the public can look at it. Uh, if any of you looking at this video have any ideas yourselves, we'd be really interested to know. For more videos from ourselves, if you would please like and subscribe to our videos. Thank you.